what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to some more vikings season four episode five i think we're at yeah season season five <laughs> episode five oh my god sometimes this these things just they go over my head anyways um vikings is one of those shows man that i'm really enjoying right now you know what i'm saying yeah yo. <laughs> Anyways, man, we will see who rises to the challenge. Ivar is rising to the challenge. Um, who will rise? I don't know, but we're going to find out. Um, do a quick recap here. Lagatha is, you know, asking people to just be loyal. You know what I mean? Um. So much is going on. Bjorn is over in some other country on his way to go see the real ruler of the country. Um, over there in the Mediterranean. She, he was in Sicily and he's heading to somewhere to go see the real ruler. Not the pretender that welcomed them there. They found out who the real ru ru ruler was. Um, Ivar has tricked them. Has tricked the Englishmen. Right? Has tricked them into thinking that. They were pushed out of the castle or they starved them out, you know. Um, and now the rats are above ground. So I want to see what that was all about when he said, why are the rats above ground? Which is, I don't know what's the significance of that. I don't really know that much about rats. I would give you know, that maybe the rats aren't supposed to be above ground when certain things are happening. I don't know. But we'll find out. Okay, so let's jump in and see what's going on. Um, I don't know what what is the situation with um with with King Harold and um him getting married to uh, what is it Astrid? Astrid? <laughs> yeah, I think it's Astrid. <laughs> I don't remember. I can never remember her name. It's Astrid or at it's Astrid. It's something of the sort. Yeah, right right i'm right <laughs> i'm pretty sure i'm right anyways so yeah um but we'll see what happens if she's gonna stay loyal to lagatha she's just doing this to survive the situation at hand but we'll we'll get to see i mean we all know that people in the show do whatever they need to do to survive and also do whatever they need to do to get close to people even if they gotta sleep with them so that's not so far-fetched so Let's see what is going to be the continuance of what's going on in this story. And I'll see you guys right back here for the review. All right, man, that was a great episode. Season five, episode five. It's a good episode, man. I liked it. Um, Ivar seems like he's taken. It seems like he's taken Bishop Hegman somewhere. Either Kattegat, is either they're going to Kattegat or they're going to King Harold to form that alliance they were talking about. Um, yeah, man, episode started off with a bang, you know, Ivar again, <laughs> outsmarting them all. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, I would say that he's, he took, he takes a lot from Ragnar it's like young Ragnar you know what I'm saying the trickery the smarts the battle knowledge you know what I'm saying like you know using past experiences to come up with new plans and stuff like that like um the knowledge is there even when people don't want to listen to you you know what I mean um I never took that away from Ivar but him being king no I can't support that Bjorn definitely um his he's supposed to be king Bjorn is supposed to be king no doubt about it he's supposed to be king he's next in line and in my opinion he reminds me a lot more um of Ragnar than Ivar does I know Ivar is kind of like you know he, he is like a carbon copy of Ragnar in certain ways in in other ways no you know older ragnar is is wiser 
younger Ragnar is more rash. You know what I'm saying? He's more, you know, unforgiven, more um, jump into it. You know that he's good. He's know that he's smart, but he approaches it different from when he was approaches things differently than when he was older. Um, you know, cause with age comes knowledge, you know what I'm saying? Um, knowledge and wisdom. So definitely agree with that. Um, situation, they never show King Harold at all, but they did show Lagatha. Um, the situation that's going on with Floki, I don't know. I'm a little bit worried about what's going to go down because of what he's trying to do behind Lagatha's back. I have a feeling that either all these people are going to get killed. Or something of the sort. I do think that is kind of is is kind of undermining what Floki is trying to do. I get what he's trying to do, but at the same time, um, you know, you have to respect what what Lagatha is talking about right now. You taking people away, especially War. Like if it's not people who's you know gonna be in the in the battle, you know, they're not warriors. They're not shield maidens. I can get. You know, those people, they can go. You can coerce those people into going. I get it. You know what I mean? Um, I get the type of life that Floki wants to live now. You know what I'm saying? He's always been a true believer. And I don't, I don't, um, I don't care much. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? To say the least. I don't, I get what he's trying to do, man. But at the end of the day, you know, it is what it is sometimes when it comes on to that stuff. Like, I get he wants to share it with somebody and he's not about that war stuff no more and stuff like that. But that is that really the way of the Viking, though? Like, you know, so I I, I do try to understand things from Floki's perspective because we all know he's a true believer. He's always been like that. It has driven him to do stuff that I completely disagree with. But also... um. At, at, at the other end of things, you also got to understand other people. That's why Lagatha said to his face, it's like, so people like me and Ragnar don't belong there because we, you know, we weren't always like true, true believers. You know what I'm saying? Which really isn't true. In my opinion, they are true, true believers. They're just not die hard like, say, a Bishop Hegman and, and, and Floki. Like, they're not die hard die hard see the thing about people who question things rather than just go with it there's a difference when it comes on when, it, when you're talking about religion and faith and all of this other stuff there's a difference of people who are just totally die hard and people who are always questioning things you get what i'm saying some people just they just believe 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 no matter what no matter even if evidence show up refuting what what they believing they just believe then you have those people that question stuff like you know ragnar would question the fact that you know so many different places in the world worship so many different gods do they all exist or is it actually just my gods that exist you get what i'm saying those things are questionable and there's nothing wrong with having those questions in the end what do you believe that's what matters so um, you can't just, I, I don't believe, I don't, I don't believe in, in believing just blindly and never asking questions. The questions are supposed to be asked. That's why we were made with free will. And I think that we have to question these things because if you don't know, you can't know who you're actually serving. You know what I'm saying? So that's just my opinion on that. Um, in other things, uh, what else is going on? What else we... Yes, King Aethelwolf got out of there, you know, and with 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 um with his son, get got back to to Judith, um, and they were defeated again, and now they tuck their tail and out of there. So I also pointed out the parallel between. It's kind of like the same thing that Ragnar did, you know, with Athelstan, right? Did this the same thing, you know what I'm saying? Taking him home, you know, going over there, taking him back home, 
you know, as a priest. And it's the same thing that's happening between Ivar and Eggman right now, which I'm looking at and I'm saying, okay, that, that's a great parallel they're drawing between the two because you're like, but I don't think it's going to play out the same way. I think Hegman is more of like, he's more gung-ho more than anything else. He's like one of those people I just talked about earlier. We just believe without, you get what I'm saying? Like, he, he he's not, you know, with, with Hazardstan, he saw the way how they lived and kind of said, hmm, this kind of makes sense. Maybe there is another God. You know what I'm saying? Um... I don't think Hegman is going to have the same response, even living with them over time. I think maybe this is the reason why Ivar is doing this, because he's because he's like, my dad did this, and it ended up being one of his best friends. So maybe I can show him something other than what he's seen and help him to understand that our way of life is also a way of life. So, um, So I'm looking forward to that. Anyways, thank you guys so much for tuning in. As always, is all I have to say in this review. Um, and as always, man, you guys have always been awesome. Hopefully, you guys keep watching these videos, man. Um, the hundred and something of you that's watching on the channel. Um, I also um, want to ask you guys to, you know, continue to watch these reviews. If you're watching them, continue to watch them, man. Um, my watch time on the channel is way down. Um, so, but I'm asking you guys, I'm not begging. I'm just asking you guys, if you could just watch, watch the reviews or leave it playing in the background. I know most people are watching my reactions from their phones, so it's not possible for, for them to leave it in the background, um, playing. So I'm just asking you guys, if you could come back and watch the reviews, if you do, Leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and also, man, leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know if you watched to the end. I'm planning to do something really special for those people who um, who do that and can leave a comment saying that. Um, but if you do not watch to the end, you won't know to leave a comment about it. So, anyways, thank you guys so much. See you next time. I don't know what the hell just happened to me. My brain just shut down for two seconds. See you guys later. <laughs>